All right, if we're going to look at the canvas size or reduce the image size so that we can get a specific uh, size, for example, 8 by 10, what do we do? First thing we need to do is see what size we're currently set to. And the easiest way to do that is go to View Rulers or hit Command R or Control R on a PC. This shows us the size, so it's a little bit larger than 8 by 10. Uh, one other interesting thing with the rulers is if you click in this area here, you can drag out guides. So for example, you can place it right on the 8 inch mark and then right on the 10 inch mark just to see where 8 by 10 would look like if you were to cut off the right side and bottom. Uh, those guides will not print. Another thing you can do is go to image, go to canvas size, and it will tell you the exact size of the canvas. Now we could change the canvas size here, and basically it would give us this warning and say, well, it's going to clip off some of your image, and it does indeed. It actually cropped our image pretty much evenly all the way around. So instead of doing that, we don't want to crop in this case. Let's go to image, and this time go to image size. Note the resolution is 300 pixels per inch. That's the minimum you want for printing. Now, of course, that varies by opinion. Some say it's 260, some say 200. Uh, but a good rule of thumb is 300 pixels per inch is good enough for printing no matter what. Um, if you check resample image, basically what it's going to sample are the pixels around each other and of course this is really good when you're making the image smaller but not so good when you make the image bigger. So you'll notice the pixel size or the resolution remains at 300 pixels per inch and that's because we checked resample image. So I'm going to cancel this out and go back to the same spot. And basically that's just a quick way of undoing what I did. I'm going to leave resample image um, unchecked and this time hit 8 by 10. And you'll notice the pixels increase per inch or the resolution increases. And the reason is because it did not resample itself and basically left all the original pixels in there. What you do want to be careful of is when you check resample image, let's say you make the image larger, basically what Photoshop is doing is filling in pixels and it's, it's using an educated um, guessing based off the pixels. It fills in with brand new pixels. Photoshop does the work for you. And this is good to an extent. Uh, it can eventually cause fuzziness or poor resolution. But in this case, we are simply going back down. So we're going to uncheck resample, or actually we will check resample image because all we need is 300 pixels per inch. We'll give it a 10. I'll have to cancel this to clear that out. You'll notice that if I type in 8, and then by 10, because this is locked here, it will keep it from being distorted. But of course, then I still run into the issue of it's still just a little bit larger than 8 inches. So what do I do? Well, this time I am going to crop, and I'm going to use the marquee tool and click up in the option bar here on fixed size. It's defaulted to pixels, so I'm going to type 8 space IN and then 10 space IN for inches. Click outside the area of my image and you'll notice it did exactly what I told it to do because I didn't type in inches. So let's try that again. There we go. So it gives me exactly 8 by 10 inches and that looks like a good area to crop. Go to image crop, and now we have an image that is exactly 8 inches by 10 inches. I hope this is helpful.